The plan is simple. I have 48 hours to finish the MVP for my first startup in my 12 startups in 12 months challenge. It's really simple. It's a flashcard generator. You upload some piece of content and you get detailed atomic spaced repetition flashcards that will help you actually learn the material. I mean, it's really just a ChatGPT wrapper. All I need to do is finish the back end, the front end, buy a domain name, set up the database, and then we should be good to go. Oh, and Stripe billing. I need to set that up as well. But first, I'm going to get a cup of coffee and then we're going to sit down and start working. It's already late. It's 12.06 on Saturday, but I think I can get this done pretty quickly. Okay, I've put Claude to work on generating the front end for this application, and I think in the meantime, I'm gonna start working on the back end. It should be a very simple Python fast API server with just a couple routes, with the main one obviously being the generate flashcard one, which is again, just a GPT wrapper. We call an LLM API, we break down this content into atomic flashcards, and we are done. Okay, I have a basic backend working. It has one route, generate flashcards. You just input text and then you get flashcards back. I'm gonna work on syncing this up with the front end, doing some styling there. Then I'm gonna add more input types. So um, PDFs mostly for now. I might add podcasts, but I feel like the transcription of that is a little slow and maybe not really necessary for the MVP. So for the MVP, I'm only gonna focus on PDFs, raw text and the user just inputting a topic in general. Then, once we have that set up and the flashcard generation working and the UI on the front end looking nice, I'm gonna actually set up the back end, the super base, um, the auth, the revenue cat, and then just make sure everything syncs together pretty well. It's 1.13, so we've done pretty good progress in one hour, and by we, I mean Claude mostly, and me doing some helping in the meantime. Like, uh, here's a quick test I did with just me pasting in some ChatGPT generated text about macroeconomics and then getting some flashcards back. They look pretty decent. Um, it's time to work on the front end. Okay, I think we're actually doing kind of decent. So you generate the flashcards, you see the original content displayed here. I don't know, maybe I want to put that in a collapsible menu because it's not that important. You get to see each of the flashcards. I haven't introduced the edit functionality. I think I'll do that when I actually have my database set up. And then, um, you know, you also have a brief preview of what these look in study mode. So you can just, yep, yep, click, click. Um, I think we're actually making pretty decent progress. It's 128. I'm going to watch a YouTube video, eat this food, and then I'm going to implement the auth setup for all of this. Honestly, I'm making a lot of progress for the MVP part and I feel pretty good about it, but it also obviously means that I have basically no technical moat, right? And it's really all gonna be about distribution on this. It's a very simple app. So it's not technically a real startup. It is a side project that will hopefully make a little bit of money. I'm still on the hunt for that big, big scalable idea, but this should be useful to people. Well, that's what it's about at the end of the day, isn't it? And I'll also be having a clementine to offset the unhealthiness of that lunch. Since off the setup, I'm in a pretty good spot, but I still have to make the actual tables for the flashcards, um, set up the rest of the database, you know, keep track of when the user last reviewed a flashcard, determine when the next best time to review it is based on spaced repetition techniques, um, make the UI a little more like user friendly. I think there's a lot of extraneous unnecessary appendages here that I need to get rid of, chop them off, and then I should be in a pretty good spot. And then after I've done all of that, I'll add the paywall step. I might actually use Revenue Cat for web. I don't know if that's a thing. Does Revenue Cat work for the web? I think it does. So if that's the case, I might use that instead of Stripe because I do want to bring this to um, mobile eventually, but that process would take too long and wouldn't fit within this weekend. So I'm going to focus on the web app right now, set up Revenue Cat so that there would be an easy transfer of users from the web to the mobile version of the app. I'm happy to report that I basically have the entire back end and front end working right. Superbase auth set up, profile set up done. Flashcard studying available, flashcard generation available, making different flashcard decks available. 
seeing flashcard stats available. Now all I have to do, and this is actually a little bit of work, buy a domain name, deploy it, set up Stripe or Revenue Cat for payments. I should probably do that first before buying the domain name and deploying it. Um, add a delete account user functionality, authenticate and protect my backend so people can't just make random requests and update the database or whatever. Um, oh, add PDF upload functionality so people can upload PDFs of like lecture notes or whatever and get flashcards out of that. And then I think it should be good to deploy and just have fun with this and try marketing it. I don't think this is like the most scalable billion dollar app. Maybe a couple hundred people will use it and enjoy it. And I think that's all. Um, and obviously I have dark mode, I have night mode in this application. So people should just love it. I think I'm going to leave the app as it is for now and then come back to work and finish it tomorrow or maybe later tonight. But for right now, it's 4.27 p.m. I need to make a reel and TikTok to post today. Um, so I'm gonna get to work on that, make that, post that, then try and figure out a place to get dinner or what I should cook for dinner. The thing about working on projects like these, and I've talked about this in basically every single video I've made so far, is that I tend to start to lose steam and motivation, um, usually because I'm like, oh, I'm not really gonna be using this myself. But Flashcard AI, this thing, I'm definitely gonna use myself. There are lots of books that I read, uh, technical books that I read or technical PDFs, and I wanna remember these things for a long time. And the only real way to do that is to make flashcards and memorize them and continually revisit them. But I don't do that. So I will use this and I'll have some use. I'm also thinking about actually making an open source version of this and then putting that on GitHub where basically the only thing you have to do is just use your own open AI key. Um, and there won't be like a database on Superbase that would be keeping track of this. You just need to make your own local thing. Um, but again, that is much further down the road. I've also been thinking about how like I could do something like this full time, which is make kind of small apps um, and try and sustain myself fully from that. Because I do love my day job, but the idea of working every single day on something that you are solely in control of and everything you do is tied to your own inputs and outputs, it's like, it's really cool. It's a cool idea thinking, I'm gonna wake up, go to my own office, open the door, sit down at a big desk and then just grind and write code for hours. It's like, that's fun, man. Coffee obtained, which means it's time to start work. It's about like 10, 15 on Sunday morning. Yesterday, after I stopped filming, I did a little bit of work to finish up the Revenue Cat web billing. So I set that up. It looks to be working fine. I tested it with like fake Stripe credit cards, test credit cards and whatnot, and it looks to be working. I still haven't bought the domain name, and obviously I still haven't deployed the app. So here are the first few things that I want to do today. One, I want to add the PDF uploading functionality because that's kind of the big main selling point of the app. Then I need to authenticate the backend and I need to make sure um, the people have active subscriptions before I vend the flashcards back to them. So I'm gonna set that up and then, dude, I still have a call. And then I'm going to work on actually deploying the app. And by the way, if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks, it's because I was really sick and my voice was dead and I just couldn't film anything. But we're back. Okay, I did it. It took me until 3 p.m., but I did everything. Backend set up, PDF stuff set up, deployed, domain name bought, getflashcardai.com. Uh, usage limit, free tier. Uh, I've set basically everything up in the bare bones set, except there is just one issue. I think there's some UI bugs still floating around. So if you end up using the app, let me know what the issues are. Just email me, sid at sitantube.com and I'll try and fix them. Uh, I'm gonna do obviously a lot more user testing myself, trying to use this to understand um, like papers that I upload and stuff, but I'm gonna stop yapping right now and then let's just show you guys a real quick demo of the app. Okay, let's say you wanna focus on attention is all you need, right? And you wanna get flashcards for that. Click open, you know, upload your paragraph. You wait for your flashcards to generate. Also, I have a weird bug right now where if we navigate away from the app to a different tab, the generation stops. I know there's some stuff that I can do to fix it, but right now I'll worry about that later. And I just wanted to get the original 
beta v1 out and it takes a while with pdfs especially long ones it takes like 30 seconds to a minute it's gonna be really embarrassing if this doesn't work and then i'm exposed oh it's possible my back end was not hot okay never mind it just took a really really long time anyways we wait and we wait um and we have a bunch of cards. We have 29 flashcards all ready for us. Um, and you can click save. After a while, you go, you open up your deck, your transformer model flashcards, study the deck, and you can start. The main architectural difference between the transformer and previous sequencer transduction models. The transformer relies solely on attention mechanisms. And you're done. I think that's a pretty good place to stop working on this for the day and to stop this video. In the next video, I'm gonna do a lot of bug fixes and show off how I'm marketing this app. This was startup number one for 12 startups in 12 months, finishing one day before the month ends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.